guys welcome here to the bright jam today and i'm here my name is mr arun and today we'll be talking about more interesting on the scratch and here today and on scratch is going to be a creating of a platformer game so suppose if you got an idea to create a platformer game how you will be able to create it today i'm going to show you the easiest way of making the platformer game and after this you're gonna be a pro in the hour making of the platformer game so let's get started without wasting a time so as i told you we'll be talking about the scratch so i'll directly go to the scratch and clicking on the create because here's as the magic begins of the coding so initially whenever you open you will able to see the cat there so for the platformer i'm not going to use a cat right now here so i uh I'm going to use my own sprite whichever i'm just going to like mostly for the platformer games i would like to choose those sprites which have a multiple costumes what does it mean so on here what we're going to talk about is i'll directly go to the choose a sprite here and and inside this one i have a sprite which looks like in walking right so i'm going to be choosing an avery but you see this i'm going to put in the avery right here oh um, but for me the avery looks so big so in that case what i can do i'm just going to reduce the size of the avery almost 50 oh uh, i guess uh, no i'm just going to change this to the 50 to check it out how this looks like okay that's perfect i found it the avery looks so pretty now here and it's it's a perfect size for what i just actually needed Yes, you got it right. What is missing is the backdrops. We need to create the backgrounds that's going to be our platform, right? So now it's time to paint a platform. How we will uh, gonna be choosing this one, okay? So I'm gonna delete this, right? Uh, I'll try to make my own platform. So I'll adjusting the colors. It depends on you, whichever the color you would like to go for. Uh, for this is going to be groundy color. So I'm gonna choose a bit of greenish. So it seems like yeah, my arrow is walking on a ground, not in the air. So um, I'll I'll go to draw something like this. Okay, but actually I don't need this one, so I'm gonna reduce it. I'm gonna make it a zero and adjusting perfectly, so it's going to be looks like yes, arrow is walking on a wall. Okay, so as I got this one right, so I'm gonna be drawing one more things here, which is going to be a kind of sky. So I'm gonna choosing a sky color. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna go with this one. So I'll go to go for the new, right? So this time I'm gonna go choose a sky color. Come on, sky color! I need you, sky. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a sky color, which is going to be like you know, right here. Okay. I just got it. Even if you want to change the color of this one, you can change it. it depends on you. So I'll just uh, quickly need a uh, text over over there, which will be showing like "Welcome to the platformer." It depends on you. What uh, what kind of text would you like to write it over there? So uh, I'm going to write here, "Welcome to the light farmer." Okay, but it doesn't look really, really good. So I'm gonna go to make this one, and I'm trying to make the text a bit bigger and adjusting in the middle. So whenever you restart the game, always it's going to be the same right here. And yes, definitely I'm gonna using this one. So now I need a next backdrop. So instead of going to draw, I could do right click on it and duplicate it. And here, so I don't need this one. I I just need a kind of obstacle for this. So I'll go to choose a box again. I'm gonna change the color of this red, a bit red, and like uh, for the obstacle, you can choose any 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 one. So I'll go to put the obstacle like here. Yeah, or we can just make an obstacle. So I got it. Backdrop is going to be. Uh, let's make it as one. I'm gonna rename it as one. So now I'm gonna make another backdrop, and here obstacle is going to be really different. I'm, I don't want to put this obstacle right now, so I'm gonna deleting this. So uh, let's go to make an obstacle like this. Okay, here I'm gonna put this here. It should be looks like you know you you uh, like things are properly arranged. So now I'm gonna go for the next part of this one. So ne in the next, I don't need this. I I need some kind of spiky things there. So as of now, I'm just gonna create one, two, and three platforms here. I'm not gonna be making more than that because yeah, we if if you want, you can just create it, right? So uh, I'm gonna creating one obstacle here. So. It could be, you know, your choice of your obstacle. Okay, I'm just gonna making red. So I'm going to select this one and go. Oh, I don't, I don't need a all, you know, border. Sometimes, uh, why I don't need the border because sometimes, uh, we we face an issue during the codes there. If you have a border and actually you feel like you gotta 
red color for this one but actually uh, the black line was there but a black line will be there that will make you uh, you know get confused about why your codes are not working so i'm not going to use a border right now so uh, I'm, i'm going for the next part of this so i'll just draw something here okay i'll just see this arrow because i want to make something called something looks like a spiky okay right not this much <laughs> okay uh okay I, i guess this is better for me but i reduce the size and i'm going to make it yeah perfect good so now uh we got a backdrop and we got a platform and we got a sprite as well so the code of this one is going to be starting from here so initially first of all i just like to make you know fix the backdrop whenever i'm clicking on the green flag my backdrop has to be this one all all the time so what i'm going to do i'll go to the event and take it out the green flag and then i as i told you i want to fix the position so i'll go to the motion and i will be choosing the uh, go to x and y uh, why this go to x and y because this is the actual position of your uh, the average is so whenever wherever you put like suppose i put this average here if i click on on this one i will back to the original position that actually what i need it good so now the next part i told you right we need this backdrop to be there so in that case i go to the looks and i'll choose backdrop and this is going to be a backdrop one this was a backdrop which i do have right now it's time to make a uh, average to walk So when like you know using the left arrow and the right arrow we can just make it. So I'm going to go to the event and I'm choosing where the one space key press. Right? So uh when I'm just going to press the right arrow so I need my arrow to go right. So I'll go to the mo motion and as the arrow is going right it means it the arrow is moving on the x axis. So I'll go here and I choose change x by 10. Okay. Look at it just seems like the arrow is gliding. No. we don't need this and we want actual walking effect so in this one i go to the costume of avery okay I, you can see avery actually having the walking effects there so i'll go to the looks again and i'll choose next costume and i'm going to put it like this okay it actually looks like the avery is walking but in this case you know uh, we cannot see a perfect effect of walking look at this it just seems like it go you know getting stuck and stuck so instead of this uh, i'll i'll try something else so i go to the control and i'll take it out the forever and i'll choose if because i wanted to repeat the condition and again and again so in that case i'll go to the sensing and i'll choose when right arrow key pressed so when right arrow key press i need the same thing to be happen next costume okay next costume right so now you're going to see it look at this now it's it's it seems that like the avery is walking so fast and perfectly smoothing right so even if you want to make this one a 5 you can make it let's try with that one no 5 is not better it seems like you know the avery is running instead of walking so i'm going to make it as 10 that's perfect similarly as you got the uh, for the right arrow same thing i'm going to applying for the left arrow as well going to the control checking out the f inside the forever and uh, going to the again sensing and check it out when left arrow press there we go when the left arrow is pressing it means uh, again we are going to the you know uh, to the x axis itself so i'm going to choose change x by but this time it's going to be the negative because i have to go to the opposite side right so now after this one i go to the looks because yeah itself when the arrow is going to be walk left i want to change the costume as well let's try it out now okay this is the right this is the left but there is a problem when i'm go when i have to go to the left the average should face uh, the uh, the average face should be at the left side right so how do we do that in that case we'll go to the motion and uh, finding a code which says point in direction for the right we'll put it 90 for the left we'll put it uh, minus 90 okay uh, okay let's get ready and let's try about it okay here we go uh, oops no 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 so the point in direction which we got it this actually uh, makes the avery like good this yes how do we fix it here come back here clicking on this that's perfect and let's go to walk one boom boom we just got it now we got the code <clears throat> to making the avery to walk now it's time to make an avery to jump so right now we're going to make your avery to jump with the space key So I'll just going to go to this uh, event and I'll choose it out when space key press right when the space key is pressing but actually I want to make this one smoother 
Uh, I'll go to the motion and I'll try. It's going to be up and down. It means it's moving on the Y axis. So have a look. If I go to press, okay, average is just going bit up, but actually it's not good as uh, we want it for. So suppose if I make it a change Y and change minus 10, let's try it. No, it doesn't work. So uh, we got an idea. <clears throat> I wanted to repeat this thing. So I'll go to the control and I'll choose repeat. <clears throat> I'm gonna repeating 10 times up and I'm going to repeat 10 times down. Okay, now you're gonna see it how average is gonna be jumping with the space key. Boom, I got my average to jump so better. It's just so smoothy and so better. But, you know, it, I told you this is a platformer. It means when the average has to go here, the average has to uh, switch the backdrop and it should go for the another platform, right? Another, uh, uh, the stage of the game, right? So in that case, how we'll do that? Uh, let's give it a space. So again, I'm just gonna creating one more thing, uh, green flag clicks, because I need to check the condition. The condition is if touching edge, if it's going to be touching, oh, sorry, not the key. We're gonna make the if touching edge, right? When this is going to be touching the edge, what actually we need it. We need a next backdrop. Let's try it. We need a next backdrop. Now you're ready, check. There we go. Okay, so, uh, oops, I forgot to click it on save now. So now we're gonna check it out again. It should go for the next backdrop, but actually it's not working, why? Let's try to make it as if condition inside the forever. Let's try it now. Okay, look at this. If I'm touching, it's 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 doing. It it means I'm just able to change the backdrop, right? So the problem is whenever I'm just going do, doing this one. So I want um, one more thing. I want to fix the position my avery. So I'll just go to take it out the go to X and Y from the motion. I'll go to put it right here. Let's have a look. Save now. Play and. Let's go get back to see. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes, I got it. Look at this. But actually, now as you know, we need to make one more condition. Like when your average is going to touching the red and all. So what should happen, right? So we want to make the average to go back to the original position back here. So in that case, what I just wanted to do, uh, I'll just gonna apply one more condition. So in that case, uh, I'll go to the control and I'll choose F. And inside the F, what I actually wanted to put, it's touching color. It's here, you know, the obstacles which I have created is the red color, so I'm gonna make it as red. Whenever my avary is gonna touching these obstacles, so I want my avary to get back to its original position. So to get the original position, I want to go back again, or uh, we, we can take this code from here as well, but it's, it's better to go back and just take it out from there. So I'll just take this one and I'm just gonna put it right this way. But yes, what do we check at this one? Let's try it. I'm going for the uh, event and I'm just gonna check it out the green flag. But actually I want to repeat this code again and again. So in that case, I'm just gonna choose forever and putting this condition inside. Now, I uh, think this got ready. Let's go to check it out. Now what's gonna be happen. Every go. Okay, look at this. If I'm touching the obstacle, I'm not able to uh, go forward. If I jump over, yes, I definitely I can go forward. Oh, yeah, look at this, look at that. So I have to go forward and jump to get, get that. Oh, yay. Okay, so now actually, you know, we got this one. So where we can just uh, make, make this one one. So I'll go to the stage again. I'll create one more backdrop. I'm just gonna duplicating this, the first one. Uh, I'm gonna make it this one and I'm gonna rename this one. So here, I just go to change it. I'm gonna make it, oops. I'm gonna put the text and going to write you one. And yeah, I'm gonna make it as bigger. So when this one has to be happened, already we have a next backdrop. So when this U1 has to be happened. So in that case, uh, you know, the next backdrop is going to be there. Automatically it will come to the U1. So now I'm gonna do one more thing. When a backdrop switches to when, go to the control and choose stop off. Because as you won the game, we wanted to stop the game as well. So I'm go here playing again. Let's go to play it now. Yes. Oh, every go jump, jump every. Yes. 
we, we made the average to jump and it's going to the another one yeah yes look at this as i uh, reach to the backdrop this one and we finally won this game and this is actually got stopped there right so this is the platformer game how you could um, create it for yourself add a multiple stages of your choices however you want it it depends on you what kind of design you want what kind of character you want go do it now and if you have an any issue, don't forget to comment here, comment below, and we'll be helping out how you can create something more interesting here on the Bright Gem on the Scratch. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.